Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here. I have a few more moments on the, my recording device here. And I'd like to dedicate this presentation to Mexico. I'd like to dedicate it to my brothers and my sisters of Mexican descent. The ones living in Mexico and the ones that's living in the United States, legal and illegal. First of all, I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, that God loves you. And as a child of God, I'd like to apologize to all of you who are suffering in this life. I'd like to inform you that the suffering that you feel is not of the creator that is responsible for your being here on this earth. And even maybe in Mexico, I don't know. Your preparation has been prepared that you might live as though you are, well, for us over here, we say heaven on earth. That's what this culture has given us. And since I know no other, I'd say the same to you. But like we here in America are not able to live as in heaven on earth. And when I say able, I mean we don't then I understand the same things that you endure. However, the efforts are being made here in this country, and I'm sure in other places, and I'm extending it to Mexico, that we recognize not the government as our Lord and Master, and as we say here in the United States, not the federal government. In other words, the highest power is the power that created the earth. And who created the earth? Well, we don't know. But it's here. So it is that power. And we are influenced even more because that power got us here. And what we have learned in our span of existence here is that the resources necessary for our survival and all of the things that we are done have done are already here. And the skills and gifts to call those uh, ideas and imaginations to be manifested they come from within us again a gift from that power we can't see can't touch can't feel which means that when we engage our gifts in the process of making all the things that's being made when we engage our gift in building a house some bring the materials that involves the bricks or the wood or the shingles or the lights and we're all one family giving what we do making windows and making floors doing what we do now when i say that i'm saying there's one person perhaps as an example doing the shingles or roofing one person doing the floors now this could be a nation of people doing floors i'm just using one person as an example but in this one house all of these people live in the same house and these are the gifts of the people in the same house. And so they exercise their gifts by doing what is being done. And when they finish, they high five each other. Why? Because they got a house built. And who it belonged to? It belonged to everybody whose hand was in the building. That's the way of the world, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way it was intended. But what happened? Somebody came by and said, I don't like that. I want more. To have more means some got to have less. And they not just giving it up. So that means you con them. You scam them. You abuse them and use them. Like in Texas. I saw in a, some report, some documentary, that you get these people out of Mexico, you get them over there undocumented, and then utilize them, abuse them, don't pay them certain amounts or whatever, and then get them to extend their work waiting on pay and call them together to pay them and call the authorities to get or to arrest them. Man, that ain't nothing but evil. But ladies and gentlemen, that's the way of the world. My problem is how do I get you to understand that it's not going to change unless we bring about that change. And we who lack confidence will not be able to bring about those changes unless we're connected to something that's bigger than ourselves. Well, the cause, my friends, is bigger than ourselves. Just taking care of everybody, all of us, is bigger than ourselves. But if all we got to play is our input, 
And all of our input is connected together by the power that we can't see to the end of May in this a fantastic home. This is what I recommend to you. I'm so sorry you have to go through what you go through. To my brothers and sisters in America and my brothers and sisters all over the earth. I'm sorry the devil is having such an effect on us. And when I say devil I, to the American people, I think about your president, Donald Trump. You know, for almost up until maybe a couple of months ago, every time you saw me act like he was pissed, mad with somebody. Because the, the truth was being exposed by him. He was being pissed. But he got away with those lies so far. And now he's given everybody that's connected with him permission to just go out and outright lie the most craziest lie you can think of. And the reason that, he, that he's doing that is, like he said, he want to present that positive image. Lying. <laughs> we all know it's not like that. But he wants us to believe because he's a president and these are his people saying it is. It must be. And so we go right ahead on playing these silly games. And now, down a few days before the election, every time you see him, he's smiling. Hey, I'm the champ president. I am it. I mean, he's showing all them teeth. Bold. His people are lying for him. He got a segment of uh, the, 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 the community that loves his lies because they're the kind of lies that they deal with every day. They abuse people or want to abuse people or themselves are being abused by people with these types of actions. And so now they want to get a chance to do the same to others. Well, all you people who listen to me, that's evil. You don't have to lie. You don't have to cheat. You don't have to steal. You don't have to deceive. You don't have to hate. You don't have to be a racist. You don't have to be a bigot. You don't have to terrorize. You don't have to fight. You don't have to go into war to have the most fantastic life an individual can ever monster, can ever master can ever have that's the master's plan so I can't give it all to you right now my name is Eddie Marcus if you will I'm on YouTube and Facebook look me up I'm spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people let me say it again spokesman and advocate for basic human rights for all people I went through love ministry life of victory eternal I went through a moment of truth I went through Paradise on Earth Unlimited. I went through all of that just to come to this point so I can be qualified to speak as spokesman and advocate for basic human rights for all people on the face of the earth. And baby, I got it together. You might not listen, but I got it together. Until next time, Eddie Marcus say goodbye.